He said, and this was years ago, he said, you know, Yarnell, eventually the biggest gap in the United States will occur between those who can change the way they think and those who can't. I think he was right. I think he was bang on 100%. And the big question is, can you listen to this information and change the way you think? Now, in case you've never read any of my books or magazine articles or you missed my most recent appearance on the O'Reilly Factor up in New York at Fox News, I'm, I'm just a simple country guy from Missouri who created a radical wealth formula and went from rags to riches in under a year, and that intrigued O'Reilly. He read my book, liked it, invited me up to New York. Now, I'm not talking about chump change like a million bucks. If I wrote you a check for a million dollars today, it wouldn't mean squat. We just had a guy up here in our town win a million-dollar lottery and go broke in under two. Well, he didn't go broke in under two months, but he quit his job in November, and he had to beg to get it back in January. Here's what happened according to our newspaper. The guy paid his 400000 in taxes. He bought a Chevy truck, not a big one, a nice one, and he put 100000 down on a modest home, and the rest, like a prudent man, he put in a safe money market account. But there was a problem. The after-tax income on his remaining $500,000 wasn't enough to make his house payment. Now, we're not talking about a huge home here, just 2,500 square feet. But after winning a million-dollar lotto, the guy was in the hole 1800 a month, and he was back working at the mill in 62 days. So here's my advice to you, friend. Don't quit your day job even if you win the lotto. Better yet, learn how to create at least $20,000 a month in principalless interest or get ready for food stamps. A few million bucks today and you can still be living below the poverty level even if you invest it carefully. I'm talking if you invest it carefully. What you need is principalless interest. Now, I make no apologies for any of the facts you'll hear. The stuff I'm going to share with you, this information, they, these facts can't be refuted. And they really bother a lot of people. I already know that. Before recording this, I ran this stuff by several intelligent adults, and they all found at least one thing that really bugged them. The fact that this information seriously disturbed quality people, whom I love and respect, was a clear indication to me that the truth has to be told, and by golly, it just shouldn't be watered down. Whoever sent you to this information knows exactly how I made the big money. So if this stuff makes sense to you, get back to that person real quick. Because here's what's up. If you don't create a very significant monthly cash flow over the next 36 months, you will statistically, in all likelihood, join the same nightmare as our good friends in Detroit. Very few years ago, 1.2 million people in Detroit were gainfully employed with full blast, full blown pensions and health insurance, all thanks to the auto industry. 1.2 million people tra la lying their way to work with great health insurance. Today, 1.2 million people in Detroit are on food stamps. Now, I read five books a week, and I can, and that doesn't make me smarter than anybody. It just means I'm better, well, I'm more well read usually. And I count among my friends some of the most respected men and women in every sector business, science, technology, academia, and government, and they're all saying the same thing. Listen carefully. By 2020, 10% of us will be safe because of leverage distribution incomes that are tied to a proprietary funding vehicle. And the other 90% will be in the lower income category. I'm so, They'll be poor. I'm sorry to be the one to break the news to you. But those who think they can avoid this coming economic tsunami are delusional. And the poor folks who think they can roll the dice in real estate or Wall Street or day trading are grossly mistaken. You're all out of time, cow pokes. And don't think that this is overly complicated. The individual that you call back will explain why you need never gamble your monthly cash flow in anything as volatile as Wall Street or real estate. Forget those bubbles. You need to tie your wealth to the distribution of unique products or services. You know what? A lot of people don't know this, but it's a fact. Right after 9-11, there were just as many millionaires created in the United States as right before 9-11 in the same time span. But believe me, 
They didn't do it through traditional investment strategies. What you want and need is passive residual income. Now, if I had the time to tell you the whole truth uh, about everything that's coming, you would lose sleep for a week. 95% of all Americans don't even read one book a year, and 5% only do read one. Now, I shared these irrefutable facts that I'm getting ready to share with you with a group of large doctors recently in Dallas. I was delivering a keynote speech, and you could hear the groans from the audience. You could hear the audible groans. These poor men and women were so shell-shocked by my statements. They looked like they'd just been hit in the head with a bunch of baseball bats. I felt so much despair and pain coming from those professionals that I decided to leave other facts out so nobody would get too depressed. They were shook. But see, nobody reads books, and nobody learns any real facts from a corporate-controlled media that's nothing more than Newsack infotainment. I suppose it's important who knocked up Anna Nicole Smith, but 12 days of CNN coverage? Sorry, folks, what's up with that? Now, I was born and raised a patriotic, loyal American, and I'll go to my grave believing that being a North American, being a North American capitalist is a gift and a blessing. In fact, I've lived in the United States and Canada and Mexico, and I absolutely love all three. I love North America. And if I had the power to do so, I could easily balance the budget right now. But I don't have that power. I mean, if I had the power to do so, I could easily end government pork and waste by redefining lobbying for what it is, bribery, and sending all the lobbyists home. But heck, I don't have that power. And McCain can't get it done. He's a United States senator, so I'm, you know, I can't do that. I don't have, and, and you don't either have the power to do those things. We don't have the power to change America's destiny. Without those powers, and here's what you need to hear, at age 57, I started asking myself, well, what do I do? I mean, should I just go to the beach with my big pile of money and run out the clock, or should I do everything in my power to keep everybody who will listen out of soup lines? And I thought about it, and I decided to keep you out of the soup line. Because you know what? The only thing I have the power to do is show everyone interested where we're headed and what can be done about it. Now, I've proven for 22 years straight that I can help anybody who will listen learn to create dramatic monthly cash flow in a year or less. That's the best I can do, and I have the power to do that. So just listen, especially if nobody has yet told you about the emergency retirement plan available. If you like what you hear, get back to the person who gave you this info. They know exactly what we're up to. They know how to do it, and they're probably already a member of our Holy Grail team. I've interviewed... Now, this is just scary to me, but I've interviewed honor students from several American high schools who literally have solutions to our biggest problems. I'm frequently asked to speak at graduations, and it's always an honor, both high school and college. I've talked to young people who have the solutions, but who's going to listen to high school seniors? And there are a bunch of bright adults who could easily change North America's course in a year or two with just a little common sense and sacrifice. But you know what? And I know some of them, but you know what? You You couldn't force those people to get into a field as stupid as politics. Who wants to move to D.C. and be a professional fundraiser? Who wants to sit in meetings all day with pharmaceutical and firearms lobbyists? No thanks. There are a lot of adult report card subjects, a lot of ways to get adult report cards. Think about it. Just think about an adult report card subject. I've seen a lot of folks make straight A's in income and prestige and F's in ethics and leisure. Three of My best friends have already died of stress-induced coronaries on the way to their big pile of money, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. No amount of income could persuade me to trade my trout streams and paraglide mountains in B.C. for limos and country clubs in D.C. I've got my principal as interest, and if you'll pay attention, you can do the same thing in a year or less. Now, you know, let me just stop right here and say something. I want to inj- I didn't even plan this. I want to inject this. You know in your heart of hearts that something's wrong. We all know it. We all feel it. But most folks just aren't sure what. 
And that's because nobody reads, nobody pays any attention. Now, as I said earlier, when I mentioned just a few of these facts in my Dallas speech, people were shell-shocked. They were blown away. For example, more students in India now speak English than the entire population of the United States and Canada combined. And there are more high school and college students on the straight A honor roll in India than all students in all classes, in all schools, in all North America combined. Now, when I told them that even though Americans spend twice as much on medical care as any citizens in any industrial, well, in any country in the world, forget industrial, I mean, we spend twice as much as any other citizens in any country on planet Earth, and we rank 46 in mortality behind countries like Cuba, you know what happened? They openly challenged me. Remember, these were doctors. They didn't believe it. So, fortunately, I just opened my 2007 World Almanac and I proved it. And they were completely shell-shocked. Sorry, folks, but Cubans with no decent pharmaceutical industry, no good health care, no clean water, live quite a bit longer than you do. Now, I'm not going to take the time to go into any more wild facts, but I do suggest that you pick up a book by Michael Legault called Think. Think! And another one called Armed Madhouse by Greg Palast. And while you're at it, just thinking about this, pick up The World is Flat, the 2.0 version, and you'll make several remarkable discoveries. None of these brilliant men and women are biased. Most are neither left nor right. None of them have a dog in this fight, and none of them have any political reason to lie. But they're all saying the same thing. Within the next 12 years, we will no longer be an island of prosperity in a sea of poverty. Folks, listen, we're joining the rest of the world, and you you can't change that, and I can't either. I repeat, it's over. The middle class is waving bye-bye. The ultra-rich are getting richer, and 90% of all North Americans will end up working like dogs for just enough to survive. And don't, listen to me, don't you dare try to marginalize me to the fringes of capitalism like some conspiracy theorist. I'm just a well-read guy quoting the experts. Not liberals, not conservatives, experts. Either get back to the person who told you about this information and learn how to create a twenty dollars to $50,000 a month principalist interest domain, or get ready for food stamps. You know what's scary? I'm an optimist, not a cynic. I'm not afraid of what's coming. In fact, nothing real bad is going to happen. North America is not going to go poof and disappear. North America didn't even go down the toilet during the Great Depression or four major wars. All that happened was a whole bunch of people lost everything and wound up in suit lines or committing suicide, and a handful of people became wealthy. The only thing is, this time, and listen to this carefully, there will be no magic middle class pop up like a clown out of a box. The middle class experiment was noble, but it failed. Friends, listen to me carefully. Read any history book. In the history of human civilization, there has never been a middle class except for the last 50 years in North America. When this shakeup occurs, you'll either have passive residual income or you won't. You'll either have your home and cars paid for or you'll lose them. You'll either have enough cash for medical emergencies, or you'll not get treated because there won't be medical insurance. Heck, already a third of us don't have any insurance, and without it, you've already learned, nobody can afford good medicine. Forget about Social Security, that's going away. And except for wearing a smiley face button and greeting people at Walmart, or flipping burgers, there aren't any professional or upscale jobs that are going to magically pop up or appear. The only real growth sectors in America today, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, are fast food, retail sales, and correctional facility officers. And Mr. and Mrs. Boomer out there listening, heading for that wonderful Florida golf course. Whoops! You ain't going. And how nicely are the young generation going to treat 76 million frail old folks like us? I'll give you a clue. 
These are the same nice young people to whom we've left the biggest debt in human history and oceans full of toxic waste. Don't expect to get your depends changed regularly or an extra helping of boiled potatoes on your early bird dinner tray at one of the prefab rest homes that are popping up like dandelions all over America. All I want you to know, especially you non-readers, is what's coming and exactly how to plan for it. I'm already set. And the people who introduced you to this information must know what I know or they'd have never suggested that you listen to me in the first place. Get back to them and ask them to explain how many of us have achieved over 100000 a month income by creating principalless interest attached to a proprietary funding vehicle. And what's the best news of all? To set up your emergency leverage distribution income account, you'll need no big investment, no former experience, no credentials, no degree, but you are going to have to bust it. You know, this isn't some goofball, get-rich-quick pyramid scam, and don't kid yourself. It takes effort to get to this kind of money. It's just you can do it fast. And don't expect the big corporate types to share my opinion. An unstable, literally, and this just, when I read this, it drove me nuts because it was a leading economist that wrote it. An unstable workforce is great for big business. You heard the rich get richer? Bill Gates right now has a net worth greater than all of the lowest 41% of all American households added together. Do you get that? His income asset base his profitability, his net worth, they like to talk about, him alone is worth 41% of all the... Four, it's worth more than all the 41% of the lowest American households added together. Do you really think that he, or Dick Cheney, or Halliburton, or Monsanto care if you understand principle of interest? Not a chance. To those guys, roughing it is running out of martini olives in their limos. Give me a break. You know what I'm betting? I'm betting you don't have any idea how to earn fifty or hundred thousand a month. I'm betting you're skeptical, or you would be. I'm betting you're skeptical, just like I was, and I'm betting you can spot a scam a mile away, just like I could. So you're not about to get involved in anything that doesn't pass the smell test. And I bet by now you know I'm shooting you straight from the hip. I don't have a dog in this fight. You'll never hear from me. I won't even capture your name and number. I don't care. It's up to you. Just get back to the person who gave you this information. Oh, and feel free to get this information out to anybody and everybody. I don't care if you download it, burn it, or send it out in an attachment form to everybody you've ever known. All I ask is, in, in ethical fairness to me, just don't change it. Don't alter the information. That's all I ask. And by the way, I waived all potential commissions on the CD that you're listening to so that my good friend Luke Ellison at Global Duplication can send you great copies for much less than you'll spend burning your own. I don't want you wasting time burning copies of this. You can buy them for pennies. The number's on the CD. Just call Global. Remember, remember, please remember this. The tsunami coming is scary. It's right offshore, and it's coming regardless of what you think. And you know what? Poverty's not a real disgrace. Don't be too cynical. One half of all the people alive today have never made one phone call or owned one light bulb. They don't even have electricity. We were lucky to be born when and where we were. But friends, the luck is running out. So now you get to choose your own fate. What's it going to be? The beach? or the soup line. I wish I could buy you the dream, but it's up to you. I'm Mark Yarnell. Thanks for listening.